There is barely a sector of Spanish society which has not been affected by the financial crisis, and religious institutions provide no exception. With donations drying up and people looking to spend their money on more worldly needs, one cathedral has decided to open its grounds to private events in order to keep the wolf from the door. The intricate detail added to the size and age of these buildings means that restoration is a continuous part of a cathedral's life, something which costs both time and money. So this cathedral has allowed certain events, such as congresses, business meetings and concerts, to rent out its grounds. Can you tell us the, the reason why you've had to originally look for alternative methods of financing here? First of all, because of the crisis, I mean, the difficult economic times we are living. This is the biggest cathedral grounds in Europe. So um, the history, the art, I mean, we need uh, finance for restoring, and that's the reason why. So we don't use the sacred places for private events. We use, for example, the museum room, like the refectory. At the time it was the refectory, nowadays it's a museum. Traditionally one of the world's most devout Catholic countries, Spain is witnessing a decline in church attendance. But even the most hardened atheist would admit that losing these magnificent structures would be a sad loss for the country. JN1 went to see if this new method had churchgoers all singing from the same hymn book, or if they were left just singing the blues. I feel, that whether it be here in Spain, the UK, or Australia, where I come from, there's less and less people um, attending church services. Money is very difficult for people to donate. And I think they really do have to diversify to um, maintain these beautiful churches, whether it be in Spain or throughout the world. They need to look at other avenues to, as I think, maintain such beautiful, beautiful buildings that have been built and been here for many centuries. It would be a shame to see them deteriorate. While the typical image of Spain is of the small village with its own immaculately conserved church, with ever more people relocating to the city, the money required to conserve these local gems is disappearing with them. Without intervention, the country could face losing these buildings which have always been a part of the Spanish landscape. They do need to be protected, I think, and uh, it does take a level of investment. But um, we come to Spain quite a bit, and we do see a lot of this investment happening, so I hope that goes on for, uh, for a long time into the future. Surroundings such as these would remain an law regardless of what time we were living in. However, the cathedral are keen to point out that this is just a temporary measure during difficult moments. This is Paul Walsh for Jane One, Spain.